Statements by national leaders can be powerful persuaders. In Kenya, the Minister of Finance and Development offers valuable support. Mr. Minister, family planning is um, a relevant issue in matters of planning in relation to Vihiga. What are your views on this? Well, my views, which really are government views, is that family planning is an integral part of development planning. It is an essential part for the reason that you cannot hope to plan other forms of production if you cannot plan the production of the main resource, the human beings. We view it as an aspect of human freedom in the same way as we give people education so as to open wider horizons for them in the world, the same way that you provide a farmer with greater knowledge about the seed, about fertility of the soil, about climate, about rotation of crops. It's the same way that you must provide that ed information, that education, to the person so that he is not restricted in his living by ignorance, so that he becomes aware that there is a way, there are methods of regulating his family. There are means of spacing the birth of his children so that he's not slave to just natural forces. And this is what I said in Swahili to these people, that we view family planning education as an extension of personal liberty. The man, the woman, are then able to de make personal decision, a family decision, as to when they want their children, how many they want. It is not a program for government to force people to restrict the numbers, or even as to how to space their children. It is a program to give them the knowledge. With the knowledge, and as a free people, we know they will make the right decision, which is that they want healthy children, they will therefore want to space them so that they can feed them better, educate them, uh, them better, close them better, and then we shall have a healthier nation. This is what we want to do. Thank you, Mr. Minister.